So at the end of the last video, I left you with this. My 1993 Nissan 240SX convertible. This car has a bit of an interesting story, as you may have already guessed by the mold and the, uh... Yeah. So I first saw this car roughly eight years ago, parked in the back of a storage lot just two minutes down the street from my house. It was actually a really nice looking car when it got parked, but as each year passed it looked a little worse and any thoughts I had about trying to save it turned into, I wonder how much longer it'll sit there rotting away before it finally gets scrapped. I thought many times about trying to get the owner's info to see if they'd sell it, but I knew the storage lot wouldn't hand out that information. Knowing I'd never be able to buy it, I still glanced at it every day when I rode by on my way home. It usually looked pretty much the same, maybe a new tire had gone flat or a new piece of trim would be hanging off. But a couple weeks ago I noticed something different. Really different. I immediately turned around and called the number on the sign. 24 hours later I was on the other side of the fence and purchasing the car. After watching it decompose for the past 8 years, I finally got a chance to save it. The first task was to try to get it running again. With a new battery, fresh gas, and a fuel pump, it fired right up. Not only that, but it was driving just a couple hours later. The only thing that was really bad about it, driving-wise, was the tires. They were severely dry-rotted and flat-spotted. Nashville Cars and Coffee was the following weekend, and I really wanted to take this car, so I did go ahead and throw on some coilovers and a set of wheels and tires that wouldn't blow out on the way there. But other than that, the car still sits exactly how I found it. That being said, I think the best way to start off this series is to wash it and see what's underneath all the dirt. I started at the trunk, thoroughly coating it with a mold and mildew cleaner to try and soften up the years of dirt and mold that had settled on it. It was interesting to watch the car slowly change colors. After the entire panel was coated, I began pressure washing. Going into this project, I had no idea what the paint was going to look like, but as well as the trunk lid turned out, it made me more optimistic about how the rest of it would clean up too. I repeated the same process for all the remaining panels. It was really satisfying to watch the mold and dirt roll off and starting to see how the car looked years ago when it was parked. After I finished pressure washing everything, the car was already looking much better, but the years of sitting outside definitely took its toll on the paint. It had a dull and chalky appearance to it, so the next stage was polish and waxing it. The before and after of this stage was equally as impressive as the wash. It brought back quite a bit of gloss to the tired old paint. Here are the final results. The paint took plenty of abuse over the years, and to be honest, I'll probably still end up repainting the whole thing at some point, but this project at least made the car look respectable again and gives us a good look at what we're working with going forward. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay caught up with all the latest videos, and let me know in the comments what you think I should do to the car next. See y'all in the next one.